In this video, I will show you how to make custom road meshes. All it takes is a 3D editor like Blender or Maya. First, let's delete everything. And let's create a simple road. Let's save that under uh, road meshes. Let's also create an intersection. Now let's create some prefabs for our new road and intersection. The intersection will need the intersection component. And let's drag that mesh into here as well. Let's give the mesh a mesh collider. In order to connect roads to the intersection, the intersection will need road anchors. For that, let's just add an empty. Make sure the blue arrow points away from the intersection. The anchor will lead to the road anchor script. And that's our intersection done. Let's create the road. A road needs the road script. And in order to have a mesh, it also needs the road mesh generator. We will need a mesh renderer and a mesh collider. Let's go back to a road meshes and drag our simple road into the source mesh of the road. And hit generate mesh. In the mesh renderer, let's select the material. If your source mesh has more than one material, you can just add more here in the material list. Different programs have different coordinate systems, so make sure to select the correct forward axis and up axis. In Blender, the Y axis points forward and the Z axis points up, whereas in Unity, the Z axis points forward and the Y axis points up. There are these two presets already, but you can choose any axis you want. And that's all we need to do. With a road system selected, let's alt-click the new intersection button, go to a road prefabs, and drag our simple intersection that we just created into here. And now let's hit create. And here's our intersection. If we select one of the anchors, for example, now we can alt-click the road button, new road button, and drag the simple road prefab into the slot. Make sure not to drag the blender file into the slot, but the prefab we just created. As you can probably tell, the mesh is very simple. If we want our curve to be more round, we just need to modify the original road mesh to have more geometry. So let's add some edge loops. Control S. And if we go back here, hit generate mesh, you can see it looks a lot better now. And that's all there is to it.